Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel, welcome to laruan ni Obi Wan. The RX-78-2 Gundam is the granddaddy of all Gundams in the Gundam universe or the Adam of all Gundam in the Gundam universe per se. The, I also have the um, RX-93 Gundam at hand for this review because actually um, they are just piloted by one character a centrifugal character in the Gundam universe the first character that piloted ever a Gundam unit two Gundam units per se the first Gundam and the succeeding Gundam we have the pilot Amuro Ray we have the RX-78-2 out of the box so let's inspect the contents of the packaging for completeness so we have the unit of course we have the shield the shield handle we have the beam sabers or lightsabers we have the rifle the beam rifle a set of interchangeable hands which are um, accessory holding hands because the ones that are the handsets that are attached to the unit right now are fists we also have the um, display thing accessory wherein you attach this to the um, bottom of the figure for um, flight poses and such. So this is the RX-78-2 content. So let's examine the RX-93. So for the RX-93, we have the funnel system we have one funnel fin that is uh, detached for posing i think we have an extra um, beam saber or lightsaber hilt i think this one attaches to the backpack of the figure over here um, we have the propulsion system of course or the backpack we have an extra just one hand to replace the accessory holding hand and we have the unit of course so we are ready to take these figures out of their packaging finally the Gundam storyline that I got attached to first actually was not the one or the first um, storyline where this um, Gundam unit is involved actually I got into the Gundam storyline with Gundam Wing and Gundam Wing Endless Waltz it was only later that I researched some more and I found about this uh, the first storyline which this unit is um, attached to. So I watched all three movies and really appreciated the first iteration of this um, mobile suit. So the granddaddy of all Gundam. So what whichever set that you get whether it's going to be the most expensive one or the mid-level one or if you're going to build a model kit um, either high grade real grade or those more expensive bigger um, kits then it's really up to you but if you are a Gundam fan this is a unit that you should have at least in your inventory especially the other one that we're going to show in frame later because they are the Gundams that really started it all the, especially the RX-78-2 the first Gundam unit so let's talk about the um, of course this is more of an action figure instead of a uh, model kit so how about the articulation for this figure um, for a Gundam universe action figures if you have already one in your collection then you would be familiar that the points of articulation sometimes is really not that great um, out of the lot that I have owned the only Gundam unit really that would have really good articulation would be the easy eight so the other um, model units that are going to be released at the end of this month especially on the december 1st or december 2nd um, it's going to be sur a surprise whether 
they have changed the engineering for the tooling that's going to change the articulation points for this figure but right now the articulation points that would always be um, discussed would be the waist articulation which is really not much but we really don't have much on the sides but we have ample for back movement and forward tilts we have articulation on the arms on elbows circular movement and we also have interchangeable hands which is also great the skirts are movable to allow for leg articulation but leg articulation is not so much we have also some thigh circulation we have knee bends we have foot rotation and rocker but the articulation points is really not that um, really wild as to give this um, action figures really wild poses just enough um, action poses to display in your uh, collection um, space so actually um, the the articulation points right now is just decent actually this is the first wave of um, Gundam Universe action figures that were released the RX uh, 93 is a late, later release so let's going to take a but we'll we're going to discover whether the points of articulation on that unit is better but even for a first unit of the Gundam universe the first wave it is still actually a good looking toy um, the structure I say when I watch the um, first uh, Gundam movie I could say that it is really um, the hints on the um, on the uh, engineering of this is so much animated looking but at the same time giving us that really um, Gundam feel if you are holding on to it that is what I like about um, this Gundam universe action figures uh, figures is because they are really um, when you hold on to them you are really holding on to an action figure so <laughs> it's not like the experience of um, having uh, or holding on to a model kit wherein it's just way too fragile even if there's a thousand points of articulation and things would just fall off on a, on a model kit so you have to glue them and when you glue them articulation is gone because the super glue would seep into the different um, spaces um, really trapping the articulation points for the figure but with this Gundam Universe action figures the size is just right the articulation just decent so let's uh, look at the accessories that are included so we have the shield the shield has a viewing space over here so even if he is, um, this unit is um, trying to block off blows or beams, then he still has visibility as to the um, location of the enemy, especially Shar Asnabal. Okay, so this shield also is attachable to the back of the figure, which I really, really like that feature. So we have the... Um, beam saber heels or the lightsaber heels um, you could take them out and then attach the these at uh, these points wherein now you could um, really have a full uh, beam saber or lightsaber for the Gundam units so what I like about this really is the capacity to do this so to have a really secure um, shield um, 
attachment you have to hold on to the um, handle this while you put on pressure on the shield body so it stays so I really like that feature where you could attach that shield to the back of the figure so really complementing the look and feel and experience of the RX 78-2 okay so let's um, take a look at the accessories the other accessories aside from the shield and the beam sabers we have the rifle so the rifle uh, the actually the stabilizing handle is not movable so we could not move that from left to right right to left actually it is fixed the only thing that has um, articulation on this rifle is the sighting system so you could only move it to as much to the middle and you place it on the right hand of the uh, Gundam unit and when he fires the unit could the cam the main camera or the headpiece could look through the sighting system for um, aiming assistance that way this way okay so the rifle is of sizable um, length all and the thickness is also just right it's because sometimes accessories are either just way too short or way too thin that it, uh, it becomes too unrealistic but for this it is just right okay so we have both Gundams which are piloted by same character Amuro Ray but could you feel the change in vibe especially in design from the 1979 Gundam to the 1980s Gundam the more uh, refined and redesigned unit which is the RX-93 versus the RX-78 so this um, RX-93 I love the depiction that it is much bigger the design has changed the head units are also has changed um, the color scheme is different from something that is really cartoonish and 1979-ish to a more modern um, sleeker design uh, Gundam unit with the um, application of the black and white color so really great design I could really feel the change in vibe for the uh, Gundam unit so it is just great to review these two pieces together instead of separately because they are piloted just by one character Amuro Ray. Okay, so let's take out the RX-78 uh, out of frame and concentrate on the RX-93. So of course the RX-93 has an improved arsenal by the fin funnel system. We still have this unit um, using um, a bazooka, a rifle, um, a shield of some sort but that is not included in packaging we only have the fin funnel system which is just actually an accessory so those uh, fins are not non-detachable they is it is just one molded piece so don't attempt to if you're going to buy this unit don't attempt to um, uh, detach the uh, uh, funnel system separate because they are just one mold although the um, Tamashii Nations gave us this piece to enjoy which is a separate piece and this has a hinge so you could um, place this on a stand so we have an attachment point over there and you, if you, you could have this uh, looming over the RX-93 so giving this unit a hit that um, one of the um, uh, funnels are detached from the backpack so but um, this thing has a slot over here because actually 
this uh, this one piece is really a weighty piece and it would really um, sometimes uh, make the figure topple backwards uh, so it's really back heavy as you could see with regards to the angle you really have to pose the feet and um, as in a certain way as to balance the weight of the figure so it won't continually to topple backwards so if you don't want that whole weight and want to enjoy a more sleeker um, RX 93 then just take this whole piece of so as you could see it just attaches over there and we have a slot or a hole over here and that is also um, available on this separate fin funnel system so just fold it this way take the unit side and either you could either attach it this way or you could attach it this way you could unfold it or you could just make it um, flight ready whichever way you want to pose that fin but right now it makes the experience really different because you now have a more sleeker Gundam unit without this really heavy backpack piece and just attach the beam saber or lightsaber to complete the experience so that is really one good looking Gundam action figure so we also have another area here for lightsaber attachment but that is just um, for show so we have this piece over here which is not available on the other forearm so just the same with the rx78-2 this rx93 gundam um, the points of articulation eh, is not so good but we just have enough to move the figure around to give um, it a little bit of pose here and there but not really wild poses which other toy lines um, would offer for their action figures so for this for the gundam universe we just have this um, articulation point so let me show you so for the waist of course we'll not be tackling the head because you're familiar that it's going to be on a ball joint but for the waist the really crucial parts the waist we have that uh, yeah so let's compare it with the rx78 Okay, so the uh, waist motion for this figure is better than the RX-78. So, as for, of course, basic, basic, basic for the arms, we have rotation, sideways movement. We have rotation on the for, uh, arms. We have bend on the elbows and of course we have articulation on the hands. So as for the foot, uh, for the legs, not really much in the articulation system. So just giving us enough to pose our Gundam action figures but not really into ridiculous um, action poses so we just we are just given enough articulation points per se so i hope that the new units which would be 
available on market actually i also made a pre-order so for the freedom gundam and the um, uh, heavy arms custom which would be arriving on december 2 i hope that those units would have a little bit better articulation than these two but am i complaining with regards to the limit in articulation uh, actually it's um, okay with me because uh, majority of the time uh, actually these are just display pieces so sometimes i would take them um, off the shelf and then move them about a little bit play with them a little bit but not really into some ridiculous um, action poses wherein um, it could possible, uh, possibly uh, break the points of articulation so I'm really not that uh, kind of guy especially with Gundam units I love them for display pieces actually but not for uh, play but if if I want something to play with I would either grab a Marvel Legends um, action figure or a um, other uh, other action figure lines but for Gundam units um, personally as a collector I love them more for their um, display capability just the looks of the mechanized uh, robot so that's it for, um, for for me actually so that's why the reason why I got these two is to have them bought in my collection so the two um, Gundam units that are really associated with the first Gundam storyline so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and see you on the next toy review